We're living in a time where we want to blame everyone who is outside the church of the living God for all the problems that we face in this country and in fact across the planet. We cannot blame the devil's children for that which is the sin of God's children. The children of God who have forsaken the fountain of living waters and we've hewed out cisterns, but broken cisterns that can't even hold water. And not only do we wonder, why is the world so thirsty? We should be asking, why are we so thirsty? What happened to a spirit of godliness? What happened to a quest for holiness? We've adapted the same goals that drive the world, and that is we want to be happy. We've had so many things happen in our in our culture of late that it's hard to even fathom how rapidly our culture has transformed into something that is unrecognizable from what most of us grew up with. I mean, let's think about it. It, it wasn't but just a few weeks ago that our Supreme Court has essentially decided that marriage is irrelevant. Now, they took the most mild approach that they could, but if you think that's the end of it, you are quite wrong. I'm not against anybody in particular for the way they live. I don't want to stand here tonight and castigate a whole group of people in this country who believe that they are attracted to someone of the same gender. That is not at all my purpose. Where I want to spend my moment with you is this. Part of the reason that people are looking for so many alternatives in marriage is because God's people have not shown them the kind of marriage that is attractive enough to want to be part of and to embrace. When 50% of the marriages in our own churches end in divorce, it's hard for us to say, be like us. I understand people end up in broken marriages often through no fault of their own. They have a spouse who has either abused them, abandoned them, become addicted to something other than the marriage and uh, completely forsakes their partner. There are many of you with broken hearts saw your marriage fall apart. You had nothing to do with causing it to crumble because you wanted it to stay together. God's healed you. He's helped you. He's, he's by his grace given you this unconditional love and he's never abandoned you and he's not mad at you. Even for divorce, he still loves you because he never will quit loving. But what we have done is to create a culture in which we no longer even present that which is right to be right and that which is wrong to be wrong and we wonder why we're in the mess we're in.